You know why the Lions suck? It's because they're cursed. Now, curses are a big part of sports, whether you believe in them or not. There's the Madden curse, where the cover athlete of the game finds some misfortune through injury or devastating loss. Now, you can find some examples of athletes breaking the Madden curse throughout the years, but Patrick Mahomes solidified it last season. Or there's the curse of the great Bambino. In 1918, the Boston Red Sox sold Babe Ruth to the New York Yankees. And because the team had been so bad for so long, Fans needed a reason to rationalize why their team sucked. Well, the Red Sox broke that curse when they won the World Series in 2004. And there was also the curse of the Billy Goat, where some guy brought a goat to Wrigley Field and he got kicked out, so he said the Cubs ain't gonna win no more. Well, they lost the World Series that year, but eventually they broke the curse in 2016. For Lions fans, we suffer from the curse of Bobby Lane, and we cannot shake this thing at all. The Lions were established around 1930 as the Portsmouth Spartans. Their first year in the league, they stunk. Surprise, surprise, right? But after a few seasons, they would eventually be good enough to be a part of the first NFL playoff game in 1932. They would tie for first place with the Chicago Bears and play for the 1932 NFL championship. They lost 9-0. Then, thanks to the Great Depression, the Spartans would be sold to George Richards in 1934, who would rename the team the Lions and move them to Detroit. In their first year, the Lions came out on fire with a 10-game winning streak, with seven shutouts included. Wait for it, though. They would lose their last three games of the season to the Bears and Packers, falling to second place. That was the first recorded Lions Gone Lion moment, but it definitely wouldn't be the last. This Lions team would return the next season and win the 1935 NFL Championship. See, it is possible, but they would stink again. They would struggle from the 40s to the 50s, including an 0-11 season in 1942. You gotta be kidding me. Though in 1950, it would be the trade of Camp Wilson for Bobby Lane that would turn this franchise around. Bobby Lane was the best quarterback the Lions have ever had. He was a star and one of the best players in the NFL. Lane was a six-time Pro Bowler and a two-time All-Pro. He was Brett Favre before Brett Favre, and he innovated the two-minute offense. In 1952, Bobby Lane led the Lions to its first championship in 17 years. Yeah, that's right. Back in the 50s, the Lions actually won championships. They would repeat in 1953, and in 1957, the Lions would win their final championship. So, in 1958, after leading the Lions to three NFL championships, the Lions traded Bobby Lane. Now, by all means, the Lions have done some insanely idiotic things throughout their history. But the move made some sense. Bobby Lane was 31, and he was coming off a broken ankle. And he was also a notorious partier and enjoyed the nightlife, which was also a reason for his move. Now, if I had to play for the Lions organization, I'd drink too. Eventually, his ways would lead him to Pittsburgh. Lane would go on to play five more seasons for the Steelers and make the Pro Bowl twice more, but he never returned to the playoffs. According to legend, as he was leaving for Pittsburgh, Bobby said that Detroit would not win for 50 years. Now, there are a ton of conflicting reports on what Lane said, and no journalist ever published the quote, but how else can you explain this trash? Since his trade, the Lions have never had a Hall of Fame caliber quarterback start for their franchise. Now, the Lions wanted to go with the younger and more athletic Tobin Rowe, who finished the job Lane started in 1957 by winning both playoff games against the Bears and 49 and laying it on the Browns in the NFL Championship, 59-14. All right, Tobin wrote would only last three seasons in Detroit, winning just five games. In 2008, when the curse of 50 years was supposed to end, the Lions went 0-16, and that was supposed to be it. But here we are, 12 years later, still cursed. In 2009, they drafted Matthew Stafford, and he's been the best quarterback the Lions have had since Bobby Lane. The same Matthew Stafford who attended Highland Park High School. You know who went there? Bobby Lane. Wait a minute. Do we have to trade Matthew Stafford to get rid of the Bobby Lane curse? When will we break the curse? Eventually, all curses are broken. But in the case of the Detroit Lions, never. We're never gonna end this curse. Bobby Lane, if you're listening, wherever you are, please, end the curse. Just end it. And it's the right thing to do. End the curse. Please.
Bobby, please. End the curse. End the curse.